Keeper is a Rogar Lord you'll fight in the Ancient Labyrinth DLC for Lords of the Fallen. Uh, before the fight, navigating the maze, you'll come across these three icons in this lever. Uh, what this is doing is it's basically changing his magic for the fight. You'll see it'll go from top to middle to bottom. So in this case, he'll start off with lightning, magic, and fire, and I just spun it again. So he'll start with magic, fire, and then finish on lightning. Uh, the reason that you want to do that is for achievement purposes. If you have him start with fire, you'll get an achievement. Um, but having him start with fire drops a strength-based weapon. Having him start with magic drops a ice uh, agility-based weapon. And then having him start with lightning drops a faith-based weapon. So you'll want to... You also get an achievement for beating the final boss with a weapon dropped by the Keeper, so that's why it's important to make sure you, you change it to the appropriate one. So the boss is pretty unique in that you don't actually damage the boss, you damage this sort of shield that he has floating alongside him. And he has some pretty unique attacks and altogether it's a unique boss. I'll normally start off by dropping these orbs that sort of circle around him and he'll do this shockwave attack that pushes you down. It doesn't deal any damage so and it's pretty fast. It's not like you can dodge out of the way to avoid it. Another attack he does what you just saw is he'll fly up into the air and then sort of spear you same thing like the other sorcerer enemies will do. I'm trying to use Mimic, but boss fights, and this boss fight, it's not that helpful as you got to be more mobile. He does a two piercing claw attack. It doesn't deal that much damage, and the poise on it, the poise damage on it is very low. So I actually found it helpful to just tank the two hits and deal him damage. Uh, you notice I switched from Cursed to Heirloom. Uh, cursed just deals physical and magic damage, which I forgot that I had switched him to magic up front, so I wasn't really dealing any significant damage at all to him. But you kind of just keep wailing away at him. That bookcase that he'll summon behind him that is the single most damaging move that he does. Pretty easy to strafe, and it does take a while, so you shouldn't actually be hit by it that much. So at this point, when you get his shields down to zero, you need to wait for him to raise his hand up and start summoning books. The goal being to bring it down to zero while he's doing that, and then you need to run behind the bookcase to avoid sort of AOE instant kill move that he does. A little frustrating the first couple times, but hopefully watch the video and understand how to beat it rather than bang your head on the wall for 30 minutes not realizing why you're dying instantly. The lightning orbs that he'll summon, if he hits you with them, they will give you a huge defense penalty that'll last probably for the remainder of the fight. Magic orb that he'll throw, if that hits you, you'll take a significant speed reduction. And the fire one just sets you on fire like you would expect. So there I've reduced his shields to zero. I barely managed to get behind the bookcase, which nullifies his AoE. So when he's charging up, then you can just come right in deal as much damage as possible. There again, you'll notice I just tanked the two claw attacks. And Cursed is dealing much better damage now that I'm not dealing magic on magic damage. Bookcase move does deal a lot of damage if you're not able to get out of the way. This claw move, you really need to dodge backwards because he'll do it twice, so if you dodge once, uh, 
unless you're wearing the lightest of armor, you might not have enough time to actually dodge a second time. And you don't want to make the mistake like I did there of running into the bookcase. The books he's summoning do deal you damage. You really need to run to the side of it to get behind it. There, you'll notice I hit one of the lightning orbs, and now I'm basically going to have reduced defense for the rest of the fight, which does add up if he manages to, to get you with some of those, the, the move where he summons the library bookcase behind him. Here I'm just trying to burst him down. And you'll see that you basically have to take his shields down three times. The last phase, he sort of just comes at you physically. And this is by far the easiest one. Uh, again, just tank the claw hits. They don't deal poise damage to interrupt you and they don't deal significant damage at all. Uh, it's much easier to just tank it and, and deal him damage. Obviously, I'm on New Game uh, Plus. New, oh, sorry, that's New Game. On New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus, um, you'll want to dodge. New Game Plus, I have a warrior, and again, it still doesn't deal that significant damage. It's a pretty, pretty easy fight once you know to run behind the bookcase, uh, which is, I guess, the only cheap move that he has. After you beat him, you get the normal cutscene and then his loot crystal. Again, the loot that he'll drop, the weapon that he'll drop, will vary based on the type of magic that you gave him to start with. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.